This is Michael Saltzman from Blue Sky Bio. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate a very easy and organized way to share case files for a particular case between a dentist and a lab or between two dentists. And I'm going to demonstrate the process via biobigbox.com. Biobigbox is Blue Sky Bio's HIPAA compliant file transfer, email, and backup system. If you don't yet have a Biobigbox account, registration is super simple and free. You could use most of the features and functionality of BioBigBox at no charge. Setting up an account is just putting in your email address, creating a password, and entering your cell phone number. You click the registration button, and you're good to go. Here we see my account. I'm logged into msults at gmail.com. These are my files that I've already uploaded and or shared with other users. On the top, you could see we have the capability to upload and transfer files. You could sync and backup files from your computer or sync them and then share them easily. And we also have HIPAA compliant email functionality. What I set up on my desktop right now is I have case one. That's the case I'm going to demonstrate with. I have my CT scan files. They could be zipped and put into a particular folder or they could be unzipped. Either way is fine. And we have the STL file, which we're going to need to import into the Blue Sky Bio case, into Blue Sky Plan case, in order to design and create the surgical guide. So now, let's say I want to send these files to a lab. I would like to have them prepare the treatment plan. I go to my Bio Big Box account. Here, I'm going to select a folder. I'm going to select a folder to upload and everything inside of it. So I click Select Folder. I click my case one folder that has those files in it. Now, as soon as I click upload, I have two options, upload and share, or don't share, just upload. Okay, so here I'm gonna click upload and share, and I'm going to enter the lab's email address. For now, I'll send it to msaltzman at blueskybio.com. That will be for demonstration purposes. And I could add in any other message or information that I want to have sent with the files. Once I've done that, I click share. Now we could see that BioBigBox is uploading the files. At this point of time, I'm essentially done. My share is complete. I could go on and work on other things. I could treatment plan, I could leave my computer, whatever. You want to keep the window open until the upload is complete and you get a confirmation on screen that you've shared the files. Now, once the upload is complete, in addition to the confirmation, you are gonna receive an email saying that the files have been sent completely, and the recipient is gonna receive a an email saying that they've received new files, and they could either view the files in their Bio Big Box account, or they could click the download button and download, download them straight directly from the email. If you wanna share the link to the files via another email or another channel, then just click copy link. And this link is gonna have the files, the link to the files. You could paste it into an email. You could send it however you wanna send it. And the recipient will be able to download and access the files. Okay, so the files completed their upload. I received the notification on the screen that the data was transferred successfully and that a notification email will be sent to msaltzman at blueskybio.com who is the recipient in this situation. I can now see in my files the case one folder that I uploaded. And if I click on the folder, I could see the files inside the folder. I could click up to go back up to a higher level or click file transfer and takes me back to where I was before. I could see that this folder has been shared with msaltzman at blueskybio.com. Okay, now we've switched over and we're looking at the Bio Big, Bio Big Box account of M. Saltzman at blueskybio.com, the recipient of the case one folder. As I mentioned earlier, the recipient receives an email notifying them that there are new files or folders. They could directly from the email either download or click view in Bio Big Box, which will open up this view. So the recipient can now go ahead and click on the folder, click the download button if they like to download the entire uh, folder, or they could click into the folder and select a relevant file to download. 
And then they could go ahead and treatment plan the case, deal with the files, however they want to deal with the files. Once they've completed the treatment plan, they can now upload the completed treatment plan back into the same case one folder. So it keeps everything very clean and very organized. So the recipient might only be uploading the one Blue Sky Bio folder, so they could click select file or files, and then they could multi-select. Or if they're going to be uploading a folder, they could click select folder, and as previously, select the folder, and it uploads everything inside. So for now, I'm going to click select files. On my computer, I'm going to select the relevant case that I want to upload and add to the folder, and click the open button. Once again, I ask. Once again, I have the option to either upload and share or just upload. I'm going to upload and share, and I'm going to share it back with the original sender. I click, I could add in a message if I like, and then I click share. Here is the file, click share, and now it's being uploaded, and because I had the relevant folder open in, in BioBigBox. When I click Upload, whatever I'm going to upload is going to upload back into the same folder. I once again have the copy link, so if I want to paste it into an email or send it via another channel, that's fine. But the recipient, who is now msouls at gmail.com, is going to receive a notification when this file is uploaded. Okay, so now the lab or dentist number two has now completed the treatment plan, received the confirmation, clicked OK. And now we see in the lab or dentist uh, number two's account that he has in his case one folder, he has the original files, uh, DICOM files and STL file, and he has the completed uh, treatment plan as well. Everything's organized within his file transfer list, within his file lists. We could see that case one folder now contains the relevant files. Now I jumped back to the original dentist who sent the case, and we could see the case one folder here as well. The case one folder contains the original files that the original dentist sent, and they're in gray as they're either files that he sent or files that he accessed already and read, so therefore they'd be in gray. The new file, just like a new email, is in white, means that he hasn't yet uh, accessed it or downloaded it. And we could see the new file, the Blue Sky Plan case, that was uploaded by the lab or dentist number two. We could also click on messages, and we could see the message. Here is the file. If he wants to respond, he could type in a message with a question, with a comment, and the other the other dentist or the lab will receive the message and they could discuss the case uh, via the messages, which is great because all of the messages for a particular case is attached in BioBigBox to the relevant case. So you could always go back and see what was discussed, what were the comments, etc., etc. BioBigBox supports any digital files, not just STL or DICOM or BSP files. So if there's any other additional files, whether they're images of the patient, whether they're a, they're a video describing the treatment plan, they could all be transferred and stored within BioBigBox. They could be put into the relevant folder and everything could be kept very uh, organized and structured.